everyone, I am Bee Bunny. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to the for the first time if you are new here. Today we're doing another Sims 4 speed build, and this is the second speed build in my little series of trailer builds I am doing for Newcrest. Uh, this is only the second one. The first one I did a micro trailer to focus on gardening <laughs> and all of that, and and so in this one we're bumping it up to the tiny home size. But I decided, as you can see, I decided to do two different micro trailers instead of just one tiny trailer. And the, my reasoning for this was because I wanted to make one the living trailer where you get all of your needs satisfied and all of that good stuff. And then the other one I wanted to make a workshop slash home studio because my idea for the sim that lives here would be a someone who is very good with their hands and does a lot of hand crafting furniture crafting even knitting and uh, painting and uh, yeah some flower arranging so a little bit of gardening too but not to, so much of a focus on that and they also have this little studio uh, recording studio with the with the video editing and all of that so that they can upload videos of all of their creations and maybe tips and how to's and all of that stuff like a like a do-it-yourself YouTube channel so that was my idea for this build uh, the reason why I focus so much on like a variety of skills is because when I use the tiny home lot trait that is the main reason why it's because I want to increase a sim's skills uh, because uh, the skill building is so much faster and if I'm not really worried about gardening I will bump it up to that tiny home so you get a little bit of the extra I mean you get double the space of a micro home definitely so you definitely get a little bit more space and you still get that skill building buff where your skills like go up twice as fast as usual so it's just great so I definitely wanted to put a whole lot of skill building items in here but I wanted it to make sense so that's why I came up with this sim who is very crafty and, and it, there's a lot of outdoors kind of crafts as well and yes also with this build I wanted to uh, play around with terrain because I never play around with terrain and we're gonna get to that in a second I'm just finishing kind of the shelves of the two trailers and figuring out windows and I really love those island living um, glass panels where you can you know put them on the floor I, I you know I think they were designed to put on the floor to see through to the ocean if you had a little deck over the water <laughs> but I love using them in ceilings as a little like nifty skylight trick <laughs> so I I definitely wanted to use that in this in this and that's the home trailer where you're kind of living and all of that good stuff so and this was also I started this build before the last update so I don't have the window you can you know the free placement of windows and having two windows on the same kind of panel on the wall in here and, and then I finished it after the update so I really should have gone back to the windows but I didn't <laughs> um, and I also I don't I don't know if you watched my last um, build it was a renovation of an apartment I talked in there about how I had planned it all out and then torn it down and then rebuilt it for camera so that it went a lot faster and there was no indecision in the video it just looked like I knew what I was doing well this this video this build I started it way before I did that apartment I've actually like been just working on this build a little bit at a time over uh, the last couple of weeks, I guess. I, I think I started it pretty soon after I put out the new, the first new Crest trailer. But uh, it just, it just took me a while. I think because I had these kind of like grand plans for the terrain and and I don't ever manipulate terrain in builds I, I rarely do that and I really wanted to do that and so I was just taking my time with this build and making sure I wasn't too tired because <laughs> sometimes I get really tired if I'm building something I mean you wouldn't think it would be too complex because it's such a tiny build and it's not like this huge lot that I have to fill out fill up either but I do get kind of mentally and creatively drained the longer I build I think I can build for about an hour before I'm like okay if I don't just like put this aside right now I'm just gonna be throwing any old thing in there because I'm tired and I want it to be done uh, so I definitely deliberately took my time with this because I wanted I wanted it to be nice <laughs> I didn't want it 
<laughs> Obviously, I'm sharing it with you guys. I'm not going to just share a build where I'm just like throwing any old thing in there and then just to call it done. <laughs> but we are working on the landscaping now. I that's, and that's also one of the reasons why I did the landscaping first because landscaping is, I'm still learning how to landscape. I, I believe I'm getting better, but it still kind of trips me up and, and it can be um, a lot harder for me to do interesting landscapes and I'm always second guessing myself it's like especially like the longer I work on it I'm always like you know I'll start out with like oh this is great this is gonna look so great and then you know 15 minutes later I'm like does this make any kind of sense it's like I lose all perspective but here I am, um, yes, I'm manipulating the train so I can put a little swimmable pond in the backyard because I wanted there to be fishing. Now later when we are actually furnishing the home trailer, uh, you'll see I don't actually have a oven uh, because I did not have space. It's just a mini fridge and a microwave and, you know, of course the countertops. Uh, so I put a grill outside for hot food, you know, and I thought that the sim would probably like fish out of their own pond and then grill up their fish for dinner. I just really wanted this to be a very do-it-yourself kind of sim. I imagined that they, uh, if they didn't build these two trailers themselves, that they definitely added on to them, like reface them. Um, that's why I, of, I used a lot of the wood from Eco Lifestyle and, and such as that because I, I just thought this sim is definitely a very craft crafts person it, 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 this sim is a crafts person and then and, and likes to create things with their hands <laughs> that is that is the main theme so like I said before, I started this build, you know, a couple of weeks ago or a while ago and, and finished it after the latest update and after our journey to Patu came out. So it ended up, there are a few things from the Star Wars pack in here, just little furnishings. Um, mainly, I think there's some light fixtures and then just little decor items like a plant and, and some things for the kitchen that ended up going on these kitchen shelves, which you will see in a little while. Uh, I think that's towards the end of the video. But uh, so I think you can, I know <laughs> not a lot of people have the Journey to Batu pack or I guess according to what I've seen on Twitter, it's not super, super popular. So I just want to assure you that you could still download this. It is on the gallery and you'll see that it has the Star Wars pack stuff in it, but that it, I don't think it'll make a huge amount of difference if you do not have Journey to Batu and you still want to use this. I think it's just a few decor items that you'll have to replace or it'll just be, you know, the, the shelves will be blank and there'll be a missing plant and you'll have to maybe put in some light fixtures and that's it. It's really, really not you know, a, a huge amount of items. And it's, it's mainly just because I don't, I don't tend to limit myself in packs when I'm building unless it's a particular challenge. So it was just, the stuff was there and it looks really cool. I know that this is not a super, oh my gosh, hello cat. I'm sorry, my cat just jumped in front of me. <laughs> So I guess my cat is going to sit on my lap for the rest of this voiceover. But anyway, I know that, that it wasn't a super popular pack and the gameplay is not quite the typical sandbox sims gameplay. But I have to say I'm really, really enjoying it. It might just be because I've loved the Star Wars movies my whole life and I also really love Disney World and oh here I'm just going off on a tangent about Journey to Batu, especially like an unpopular opinion tangent <laughs> so don't hate me don't cancel me I guess is the saying um, but I am actually I'm actually really enjoying the gameplay even though I know it's it's more directed than usual with the Sims but I really like the the Strangerville pack um, I'm doing the Stranger Real storyline again in my trailer park challenge let's play and I'm enjoying it too but I found that the you know after the second playthrough in the Stranger Real storyline you kind of know what you're doing and it's not all that tricky and maybe it'll be the same with the journey to Batu. I know that there are several different 
uh, path you can take depending on if you're going to join the resistance or the first order or be a scoundrel and such as that but I'm currently I haven't played too much in it just a few hours and I'm currently trying to join the resistance and I'm finding the little challenges and the missions to be quite fun um, but I don't mind the fact that it's a limited world I wish there were lots that you could actually build in but I know with that cheat where you like enable free build like where you can build in the little secret lots in Willow Creek and Oasis Springs and all of that good stuff uh, that you can add on to one lot each in each of the neighborhoods and I am looking forward to doing that because I think if I could add some more <laughs> need space like I don't get why if you have the pack you'll get you'll you'll understand what I'm saying but I don't get there's just like this one building that you go to in the main neighborhood where you're staying and you just say like freshen up and um, you don't actually get to solve your own needs and that's like the only place there are no bathrooms in this world <laughs> there are no bathrooms I think there's bathrooms in Disney World aren't there <laughs> like, I believe the last time I went they had bathrooms I don't know why there's no bathrooms anywhere <laughs> so I really really want to add some bathrooms to each of the worlds and I'm so glad that there is a cheat that you can build. I don't want to like change things because I don't want to like mess up whatever storyline mechanics are going on. So I, I just want to add, I want to add bathrooms and maybe a place to, to sleep that's not a tent, you know, and maybe a kitchen. Although it's really cool. Uh, that when you order food from the different food places and from the cantina and all of that you learn the recipes just like you do in city living so that you can recreate them yourself at home which I think is, is really cool I think it's a neat little detail but okay I'm gonna stop talking <laughs> about this the most hated pack since my first pet stuff <laughs> and I won't get back to this um, Anyway, uh, so back to trailer builds. So, so I've done a micro trailer build. This one is a tiny one. The next one I will probably do a small single trailer. I'm not quite sure what the theme is going to be for it yet. If you have any ideas, please comment down below and let me know what you think. I am also trying very hard for the channel to get a, a consistent schedule going because I haven't been super, super consistent. I have kind of resisted making a schedule for myself so far because I wanted to really get used to how long it takes me to make videos, how long it takes me to edit. I don't want to get overwhelmed. I don't want to overwhelm myself. And it's also like I have so many ideas for different challenges, let's plays, builds that I want to do on the channel that I can easily just overcommit myself. Like for instance, I did a little teaser about this challenge that I'm adapting from the Asylum Challenge called Celebrity Rehab. I did this teaser during my 100 sub Q&A video and I'm still working on that guys. <laughs> I am still working on that but I am struggling to fit it into my schedule because I want to do, I definitely want to do at least two videos a week and I'm thinking Tuesdays and Thursdays. I've already committed to an every Thursday Sims 2 Let's Play which is a new Let's Play series on my channel. I've done two videos in Sims 2. I'm enjoying playing it so much. It's it's so it's like so nostalgic to go back into it. And the Sims are so funny in very different ways. I find the Sims really funny in The Sims 4 too, but in The Sims 2, it's just, they're just different. I don't think I'm not one of those people that thinks one is better than the other. I, I mean, there are certain things that I wish we had in The Sims 4 that existed in The Sims 2, but I'm not going to get into that. I've already gone. I've already had my controversial opinion for the day. <laughs> I don't need to go into any more. But I will just say I'm really enjoying playing Sims 2. And it's very nostalgic for me. Um, and I've already committed to doing an update to that every Thursday. And I want to keep up with my two broke Sims, Pearl and Lucy. And also the Trailer Park Challenge. We are on Generation 2. And I want to keep that going. I will have, the, it's like one more generation after this. Uh, so it's definitely going to be going on for a while before I'm finished with it and I was thinking of doing kind of back and forth since those are set in the same universe uh, on Tuesday so it'll be one of my Sims 4 let's plays on Tuesdays the Sims 2 let's play on Thursdays and then kind of like a bonus video on the weekends like this build I'm hoping to get out this weekend either Saturday or Sunday and so I would like to do like a build or a challenge or like 
you know any kind of one-off video on the weekends but it'll be like a bonus it'll be optional so just in case I just get overwhelmed you know I can still I'm committed to the two videos a week uh, and, and I think because I think most weeks I can probably do three but there's some weeks that I probably can't so I'm really kind of struggling to figure out where to fit celebrity rehab into my schedule and I may put it off just a little bit longer until I wrap up another one of my sims 4 let's plays um, so that it can go kind of in that slot but i do have the rules all figured out i have play tested it as well off screen because i just wanted to make sure the rules made sense because there were a few adjustments that i had to make <laughs> that i was just like this is too hard i made some of these rules i made were were too hard <laughs> and so i definitely had to make a few adjustments to the rules but i do have that ready and and i was waiting to kind of publish it to where after I made my first video so what I may do is try to make a rules video and kind of go through the rules in a video on one of my weekend videos but I don't know if I'm gonna get started with the let's play on the channel for a little bit so let me know what you think if you're if you want to go ahead and see the rules and see the introduction video and then you don't mind waiting a little bit longer for the for the let's play to come out i'd really really interested to hear what you think i feel like i have babbled so long and we are still building i'm sorry this video is so long but i think we're doing it's kind of the last last five minutes or so um, we're doing like the finishing touches and the furnishings and such i think i still have the studio to finish up as well and i think i'm gonna go ahead and shut up and let you guys kind of enjoy the rest of the build there's going to be a cinematic tour after i finish building and then a little clip of where you can find it in the gallery so you can find it of course uh, at B12 Money uh, under the in, in the gallery under my name B12 Money. I can talk. I swear I can talk. But yeah, I think I need some water <laughs> and and to, to shut up for a little while. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below about all of the things that I've talked about and also about our next trailer build. What you want to see if you have a certain theme in mind and what have you and if you like this video please hit that thumbs up I really appreciate it I love hearing from you guys and if you haven't subscribed to me and you're enjoying my content please subscribe it is it is so encouraging uh, to get a new subscription and I just appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much for watching these videos I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will be back with a new upload soon. Probably Tuesday. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye.
Thank you.